Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can draw uh, an accurate isometric drawing of a lap joint. Now this is using uh, a technique, as I said, called the isometric drawing. And one thing to bear in mind before we begin is that there are vertical lines directly up and there are diagonal lines at about a 30 degree angle, but there are no horizontal lines. So if you notice in your drawing you've got horizontal lines across, you've made a mistake. Vertical and diagonal are what you should be doing. Now to begin, if you're going to draw a line, uh, I would suggest a vertical line about six centimetres up would be fine. Uh, and then once you've done that, approximately, if that's horizontal, you aim for about a 30 degree angle, go up there, doesn't matter how far, probably about five centimetres, another one here. So these two are parallel at about a 30 degree angle. Same on this side, so from the horizontal, you need to be going up at approximately a 30 degree angle. So you get these sort of V shapes. Now, um, what you're gonna do is from about this point here, which is about half a centimeter from the end there, you're gonna go up uh, another diagonal line, about one centimeter. So this should be parallel with that. Not quite right there, but there you go. And then from that point, you need another Diagonal, that's parallel with that one again. Uh, and then from about this point here, another diagonal going in this direction. Now, if you need to stop, play, pause, go back and rewatch what I've done, please do. The final step with this is from that point, go directly down to there. Now you can add some sort of curved sections in the end just to sort of illustrate that the material would go off. This is just a cutaway drawing. Once you've done that, it'd be a good idea to shade one side. So once again, it's starting with a horizontal, sorry, yeah, vertical line, I mean. You do two diagonals, do this section, this and this. Go back and rewatch if you need to. Right, as an extension, another isometric joint you can draw is the finger joint or comb joint. Again, start with a vertical line of about six centimeters. Get your two diagonals at the bottom, approximately 30 degree angle. Get your two diagonals at the top. Okay. Now, the way you do the finger joint is you go from about this point here, which is about one centimeter along there, another diagonal and then about one centimetre to here, another diagonal. And notice that, that and that are all parallel. And this, this and this are all parallel. Now, uh, the next step is you'll go down from here, about two centimetres, directly down. We're going to do a little diagonal across to there. Um, and then with this line, if you projected it all the way down to the bottom, to that point, you can go up to there and then diagonal to the center there. So this is parallel with that now. And then what you can end up doing is from this point, we do a little diagonal up. From this one, a little diagonal up. These are about one centimeter in length. And then you just go directly up. So there, We've recreated a finger joint and again you can just curve it as like a cutaway so this is the extension task the main one is this lap joint don't don't forget you start with a vertical line diagonals but no horizontals all right best of luck